Who is Nick here from Nick's News and Reviews and we're looking at supercars as this funky music plays all looking cool uh, we're on the Commodore Amiga of course um, developed by Magnetic Fields and released by Gremlin Graphics in 1990 also came out in the Atari ST, the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, MSX, the NES and the ZX Spectrum influenced heavily by the arcade game Super Sprint uh, as you can see it's an over top well, top view um, racing game, and they're uh, two weirdos. I, they got their heads are too big, or their legs are too short. One of the two, but they certainly look mighty strange. Um, I quite like this game, but every time there's a picture of a human, they look deformed or look like they're from some strange, different galaxy. Now this is a tough challenge of the game. Typing your name in with a joystick. Um, a little bit more trickier than it should be. Let's see if I can change this to uh, Nick. But yes, this game consists of nine tracks with four difficulty levels, so hopefully I'll be able to show you all nine tracks. So I don't know how long this game's going to last, but bear with me. I might start off a bit ropey, but hopefully gradually get better. I prefer the sequel, uh, to be fair, Supercars 2, because you have more weapons. Here you can only load one or two. So we're starting at Class 1, there's nine tracks here. Um, you can buy different cars, but we start off with something called a 1.6 Taraco whatever that may be. So yes, these are the sort of cars you can buy at the um, sales room, the car showroom. We start, we start off with this blue one here, the worst car you can possibly get. It's called a Taraco. Um, looks a bit like a Ford of some description, maybe based, I don't know. Looks like an Escort. And uh, this is the best car you can have. Um, some sort of supercar, might be based on a Lamborghini Countach, maybe, what do you think? But um, yep, so we're wasting a lot of time not actually playing the game, let's go in the showroom, see who's here. There might be a shady man, out of proportion, yep, that suit's too big for him. Person obviously can't draw eyes, good morning, you've come to the right place, do you want a car, he says basically. Um, well... I'll, I'll have the most expensive one, please. I'll have the Retron Parsec Turbo. Turbo, that's fine. I can let you have it for this price. By the way, your old rust bucket is worth 30000 Well, I think that's overpriced. Okay, I'll pay you the money now. There's a choice of um, responses. I think the top one's the only response we can have, and hopefully he's fooled. I'm not a charity institution. Leave the property immediately. Well, that's rude. I mean, this woman, she's not working. This woman, she's not working, they're pretending to type. I don't know what this blonde haired woman's doing here, she's very small. Um, but uh, they're taking him for a ride anyway, so he might as well give me a free car. Very rude. Um, we've chatted too much, haven't we? I think it's about time we actually played one of these tracks. Let's go to the garage first of all. Right, this woman's badly drawn as well. Her arms are glued to the desk. Occasionally does a fake smile at me and blinks. But I'm not sure she's actually doing anything. She's more of a hostage. We won't buy anything this time round. So you've certainly seen all the screens. Let's see one of the uh, maps. So I don't know if you've ever played Super Sprint by the arcades. But uh, follows on from games like Hot Rod. Um, I think this came out before Nitro maybe. But yes. Fairly straightforward. I think you know what to do straight away. I need to finish in the top three. And I start at the back there in this blue car. Handily everyone else is yellow. Um, increase your speed by pressing the fire button, then it go obviously decreases. And we're straight into the lead. This is supposed to be the easiest track. And um, we've left them for dust. You can buy missiles in the uh, the shop, forward firing and rear firing. You can only hold one missile, so it gets a bit dull. Um, the sequel, you can get more weapons of course. But um, when you um, hit your opponents with missiles, um, their wrecked car stays on the track and serves more of an obstacle, so sometimes it's more of a hindrance than it's worth. As we uh, quickly go to lap the field, yes, I think class one, I don't think we have too much problem getting out of here. As we said, famous last words, whenever I say it's easy, oh, I'm doing well, something goes hugely wrong. The tracks get progressively more difficult, so if I couldn't do this one, it would be a pretty pointless review. Nine tracks to do. If you conquer track 9, which is the toughest one of course, then you go up a class with more cars to race, with more weapons and more violent. 
But this one, they're pretty passive, they don't fire too many objects at you. I uh, just want to give you a few of the game, feel of it, what it was like. There we go. That screen flashing means I've got to change discs, so bear with me each time, no way around that. This game doesn't recognise two disc drives, all that comes on two discs. Would have thought they'd had that sold by 1990, but the programmers didn't allow it. So occasionally you'll see that. Bit of a bit of a pain in the bum. Here's the celebrations, that woman in the middle there, she's jumping like mad. Animations looks like it's from South Park. What a strange bunch of people. Yeah, strange people you get at these gigs. But we got awarded the maximum money for coming first. I think it's 20k. So let's go to the garage and see what we can buy. Apologies for those brown lines on the loading box. I think I must have a corrupt disc. This woman, she does a fake smile. Really, she wants to say, my arms are glued to the desk, please rescue me. She's wearing a, a jacket, I think from Kentucky Fried Chicken, so she didn't start off there. Alright, spin assist, high speed. I think these upgrades only work for the next race, you know. Then you're on your own. Um, we can't afford any firepower. Or well, we could do, maybe... Yeah, let's get some battle armour. And after each race, um, your car takes damage to the engine, the fuel goes down, the bodywork and the tyres, as you see in bars on the bottom right next time it comes up. So every so often you've got to fix them, and of course that uh, takes money. As does everything these days, doesn't it? So let's load up track two, see what this brings us. Should be slightly more tricky, but not too much, a few more tight bends. But uh, yeah, some of the corners are a bit tough to judge. Uh, yep, we're going up the field. You can see at the bottom there, there's four cars in this. Later on, there's more opponents to race. Avoid the oil, you spin, which I didn't. Got coming the top three, I think, so just beat one person. We seem to have the speed on them. Away we go. So, uh, yes, you do lose a lot of time when you crash into anything, though, because you've got to really, really speed up. But looking at the margin, I've gone past on lap one of these five laps, two or five. Um, I think it's going to be a formality. Oh yes, no doubt here. Later on, um, Gremlin Graphics, with the help of Magnetic Fields, went on to release uh, the Lotus Turbo Esprit Trilogy, which is a, a resounding success. I reviewed all three of those, so if you haven't already, um, have, a, have a view of those. Comment below, see what you think. Uh, rate as well and subscribe. This is a very small channel, so subscriptions, comments and ratings make a huge difference. So, uh, if you have done, much appreciated. Or, of course, if there's anything I'm ever doing wrong in any of these videos, or any secrets I haven't unlocked, please comment below as well, because um, I can learn from them, and other people that have uh, stumbled upon this on YouTube might find it useful as well. It gives new life to the game, really. We all help each other. Let's avoid this oil. Now, we're gradually lapping the field on the last lap of five. Driving around like a man possessed, these opponents don't seem to be giving me too much hassle. But uh, in some of the later ones, even in this round, I think there might be a, some beefier cars to cause some more aggro. But as I said, I don't think anything fires at you in Class 1. We're not going to be doing all four difficulty modes, because I, I think I'd struggle to um, keep your interest for the whole of the time, and it'd probably go on for an hour and a half. I think the longest video I've done so far is for kickoff two, but there was the World Cup, so there was some interest there. Over the top racing game, I don't think you're going to be there to the end. But thank you if you're still with me at the moment. It's much appreciated. Comment if you are. Right, so that's two tracks done, I believe. Supercars. Let's see this woman again. Please rescue me, she utters. Right, let's repair some of this stuff. Fuel, body... See the bars on the bottom right go up to full health. Uh, get a front missile this time. See if we can use that so you can see what that looks like. But this would be a great sport in real life, wouldn't it? Fitting a missile onto your car and firing. Later games, of course, um, all this weapon firing on vehicles in a race. Uh, commonplace. A roll cage did it on the Commodore Amiga as well later on. Uh, most recently, on the uh, PlayStation and various formats, of course, um, you're looking at the Wipeout series, which I've just bought on the Vita. Wipeout 2048, I don't know what one we're on now. But that is great fun. A bit more advanced on this, but this is still fun. I'll probably upload Supercars 2 at some point, 
But um, it's good that you see the first one for comparison because it does come on a bit. Graphics are similar, but the gameplay does come on quite a lot. Um, in my opinion, it's a lot more fun as well. If I can find a way, I'll try and um, load up. Oh, that's a missile launch, taking out one of the best cars. If I can find a way, I'll try and uh, upload Super Sprint from the arcade at some stage. I don't know how I do that. Maybe there's an emulator out there that I can maybe uh, get the program. If it's nothing like the arcades, then I just won't bother. Oh, yeah. I'm getting gradually better. Took that bend quite well. We're in the lead. Lap two or five. Onto the third lap. Yep, yeah, see that. Whoops. Very, very neat game. Car slides around a bit. I think the more advanced cars have slightly better road holding. But as you can see, I'm coming up to lap them again. So class one, if you're used to playing over the top um, games like this of this genre, the first level is not going to cause you too much hassle. I thought I was rubbish at this when I first tried to do the review, which uh, the footage never got uploaded because I had a dodgy fire button and the speed bar was staying quite low so it was a bit of a struggle so there's something wrong with my car so that took a, that took a while so um, rather than uh, upload crappy footage I had to start all over again but isn't that a part of it nothing in life ever goes perfect all the time but we're doing a lot better this time doing a lot better so you haven't seen the crappy footage you've seen footage that are sort of okay there we go, we're through again. Congratulations, track three completed. Results to follow. Yes, this disc is definitely, oh, this program is definitely corrupt there. That should be just a blue box. For some reason it isn't. Don't know why. But hopefully um, this game won't reset in the middle. The woman's going crazy again. He was one, she says in a voice like that. Best lap, 16.65. Hope you keep your motor note. Maximum speed, 118 miles an hour. Not too shabby. Crowd go wild. And I think you pretty much got the, the jackster of this game now. We go to the garage, we correct a few things, we do a track, and we hope for the best. Yeah, that's the worst smile ever. She hates her job. She'd rather be back at Kentucky Fried Chicken, I think. She don't want to be working in this mechanic shop. She knows nothing about cars. She's quite pleasant, though. Maybe that's the, the end sequence. When you've done all four difficulties, maybe you rescue her. I don't know what that bit is. That must be something to do with tyres, retro. Got power steering, retro. Hmm. At some point we might need high speed. It might uh, catch up with me if I'm not doing it. But we're almost... Well, we're not always halfway through, are we? Yeah, I suppose we are. Track four out of nine. Keep with me. Bit of flashing, bit of disc changing. I'm sure I completed this game at some point when I used to play it a lot, but can't quite remember what happens at the end. We're certainly not going to see the end in this review, so if you did get to the end, why don't you tell us what happens? Some sort of end sequence, no doubt, with people with misproportioned arms and legs. But let us know anyway. Does that dealer man with the dark glasses make a reappearance? It probably just has a picture of a cup, I would have thought. Right, we're going to the bridge. Makes it more interesting, so a bit where you can't actually see the car. Those brown patches, they're either mud or glue that's been spilt. The car slows down dramatically. Right, we're in second position now. Where's first? We haven't... Ooh. Yeah, there's a bit of a supercar up in front. But we're gradually catching him up, I hope. Maybe we should have got a missile. Hmm, maybe we're not going to win this one. Got a bit cocky. We're only on lap two of five, so we might get him. Yeah, as long as we can get past him, he's like a mobile roadblock. Let's go for the inside, which we've done. Brilliant overtake. That was worthy of a Formula One pass, that was. Took the inside, drifted in, outbraked him, through. Avoid the treacle, or mud. Yes, and he disappears off the screen. We're going to win. We're going to win quite easily. I would have liked to have chosen what colour car I've got. But uh, that's no great shakes. I think depending, depending on what type of car you have, it's only blue, white or red. If I don't complete any of these tracks, I'll probably use a cheat mode. And uh, go on one of the best cars. Should have kept that to myself, really. I should have just said, uh, I got this car fair and square. 
if that does in fact happen, but at the moment, as you can see, we're in the, the worst car, and we're winning quite easily. Not easy playing, but um, another obstacle, as uh, the Rosen, cats come in, start pouring me in the arm. So I'll we'll commentate, play the game, and fend off the cat as well, but congratulations, trap 4 completed, results to follow. I think the cat's just using me as a place to sleep. I think we're okay. I think this video can continue. Is there any disc swapping required? Right, that, of course, she's going to get knackered, that woman. She's jumping like mad. She's hoping I don't keep winning. She must be losing thousands of calories. Guy in the right there waving. Or is he, I don't know what she's doing. Holding an imaginary plate, perhaps. Yes. I'd like to see what this game looks like on the ZX Spectrum. Never played it on the ZX Spectrum, but I wouldn't be surprised if I'm better on that. Like to see if all the um, characters are in proportion, or whether there's any characters at all. Off we go. We continue in the championship. Going good. We go into track five. Now the suspense. What's going this track going to be like? But um, there's not a choice of different environments in this. It's all the same sort of environment, but different um, bends and turns. Almost looks like it's been put together by some sort of constructor program. But to my knowledge, there's never a program release where you can design your own tracks. Right, let's go past these yellow cars. Two NAF cars at the back. Two good cars at the front. So reverses five cars now, it seems. You go with the water, it um, breaks your steering a bit. Well, this is a bit tricky. Not making a good progress here. Being slowed down by those spat markers. Let's shift those. Yes, there's a bit of a gap now. But we're only on lap one. Whoops, the water steers me into the wall. That bends a bit tight for my speed. Hmm. Don't say I'm not going to win this one. Oh, he's, he's struggling. I need some long straights, which require no skill. Oh, dear, that ain't good either. Is it... it this is my best chance to bridge the gap here. I've got a bit back. As long as I just nurse the car around these corners without crashing into anything. I should be able to line them up for a pass on the straight. Just nurse my way around here. Careful, careful, careful. That's good. Right. Keep straight. I should be able to catch this better up. What are we on? Lap four of five. I don't think I'm going to win this one. Perhaps this means it's getting tricky. We're about halfway through the tracks. I'm definitely losing ground around the tight corners. Are those back markers catching me up, or is it my imagination? Yeah, if I don't take anyone on this straight. Whoops. Yeah, this is looking like fur place. Hell's bells. Needed a missile or something. But uh, I didn't buy any of those from the shop. Is a lot. Well, I might be out again if I take this. No, I'm not going to get him. Come on, come on, come No, third place. But that's good enough to qualify. But third place, where I've normally been winning easily, that's sort of like an indication that I'm starting to get into bother. I wonder if that woman's going to be jumping up and down again. She's probably hoping I don't win so she doesn't have to be so energetic. Well, we're soon going to find out. No, she's not jumping. She's just standing next to that, that weirdo next to her. So I come past in my, what was it called? A taraco or a taco? Yeah, that guy at the back's not waving. Oh dear. My uh, my fans are starting to lose enthusiasm in this. Right, let's visit weirdo woman or hostage woman in the uh, mechanic's place. She's got all the stuff on a shelf behind her, knows nothing about them. Definitely need to fix this car. So fix the engine, fix the tyres, fix the fuel. It's all done by magic. I think we need some high speed because we're getting a bit outclassed there. Can't afford any weaponry. Maybe that would have been a better buy. But uh, we'll try and rely on skills so we don't need missiles. I think Bernie uh, uh, Eccleston wanted uh, weaponry in Formula 1 to make it more interesting and shortcuts and ramps and loop to loops. I think he might be losing it slightly. Right. But um, if this um, review stays on YouTube for any amount of years, Bernie might not be in charge of Formula 1 still. There might be someone else in charge. Comment below if there is someone in charge, because you're commenting from the future. 
Whoops. I need to get off to a good start so these um, bad boys up front don't get away. Oh, this is, yeah, there's some tight bends. Oh. Some tight bends again. A double bridge. Need to get past these boys. Right, so that's him done, hopefully. If I don't mess up, create a gap. So I'm in third place. There's three good cars this time. First place is starting to get a little bit far away. Yeah. Being good at this game all depends on how well you can judge the bends. You have to start turning just before you get to it so you can get a tight circle. A bit wide, you lose uh, made way too much time. But there are games that handle better. But I can't deny this is this is pretty good fun. Hmm, I've got more ch chance of being overtaken for second than getting into the lead from here. Oops, that's a shame because that would have put me right near him. Lap three of five. There's a chance I could win this, you know. If I get a clean overtake. It's a long straight there, or double straight really. That one and this one. Maybe if I just line myself up behind him, I might be able to get past. There's no driver names in this, so it's just generic computer people, whoever they may be. You don't see championship points or anything. I think the supercars too, that might be addressed. Maybe. Can't quite remember. Comment below. Unless I've already uploaded Supercars 2, then have a look at that. And then comment back in time to this and say, look, you've got the second one uploaded, have a look at that. I'm sure that works in a Doctor Who type of way. But um, I'm jibber-jabbering now and I'm um, losing positions. We're on the final lap, I need to win. But I think this position, I think second place will qualify us, but a win would be nice. We're not going to get it. Second place. And that doesn't matter. Congratulations, track six completed. Results to follow. Are you still with me? It's an exciting championship. I think you'll agree. So we got track seven, eight, and nine to go. By qualifying them, it's all looking cool. Again, uh, second place, slightly more enthusiastic. So the higher position I get, the more enthusiastic the crowd are. But look, they're all weirdos. I don't really care. I'd rather just drive through some mud and splash them all. That'll serve them right. A bit like those rallycross fans that stay on the uh, outskirts of a really fast bend. I've, I've never understood that. I don't know if you can buy life insurance if you're doing that, but it just seems absolutely crazy. Let's get out of here. Exit. I don't stay in this town too long. Or my head will go really big, or my legs will go really short, or my, my arms will just get... It's just bizarre. Just bizarreness. They shouldn't have bothered. Looks like they've done by some failed art student. They shouldn't have really bothered. If you're watching this and you did do that artwork, comment below. Was you a student? Were you young? Did you need the money? There's probably reasons you could do a lot better now, I'm sure. So don't take it personally, although these aren't personal remarks. Maybe get your own back, say my gameplay is rubbish, then it'll balance out. Right, pay attention. There's six cars in it this time. Got to come in the top three. We can do it. We can do it. Can we do it? I'm trying to convince myself. Concentrate. Oh, that's not good. The water right on the um, the edge of that bend. I can't take that full out. Right, four or six. That isn't good enough. We need another position. I don't know what car that's in front of me. One of those exotic made up ones, I'm sure. No night stages in this. Nitro did have them, as I forced that guy into the mud to drive slow. There's nothing that slows down a supercar than a patch of uh, shallow mud. Stops it in its tracks. Oh, that was a good. Ooh, that was the best, time, the best bend I've taken in the whole game, I think. But we're still in third place. That's good enough, but I'd like to come second or first. I don't know how you go. This is only class one. I don't know how you go about winning it. I don't think I've done too much wrong. Despite having the... I've got the worst car, that's what I've done wrong. Oh, can we get second place? I think first place is out of the question. Just hold position. We're starting to run out of fuel there. The fuel gauge is in the red. I'm going to have to buy some fuel if we get off this level. But one lap after this... Can we get second place? Down around the outside, cutting on the inside, bashed in wide, we're there. Good overtake. 
We've gone a bit wide. He's got the inside. We've got the inside for this bend. Goodbye. No, it's not the end of the video. Stay with me. We'll do a proper goodbye when it is. Just saying goodbye to that fella. We're there. Well, that was a narrow second place. Track seven completed. It would have been nice to give the tracks actual names. In Lotus 1, they give country locations. It's sort of a bandit in Lotus 2 and Lotus 3. Which gave genres. But, um, yeah, all a bit generic. Tracks 1 to 9. £12,000 that was worth. Hmm. 16-bit graphics. I don't know what the modern over-the-top race game would be. I've got a few apps on my uh, my phone. I guess they're there. Right, what should we do here? But 12k. Well, we definitely need more fuel. We've got to fix the engine. We're going to run out of money quite quickly here. Hope we don't come a cropper in the next game. Power steering. Yeah, why not? Okay. Load, load, load. That's the only thing I've got a bugbear in these games. With the Amiga, the load times always seem to be quite long. Start to get a bit impatient. But uh, I guess it gives your uh, hand a rest from the joystick playing. But you tend to go in your own world, really. Always starting at the back. Crashed into a wall straight away. That's not a good start. So we're racing six people. Well, five people, really. I'm the sick one. We've done one. Tight bend here. Oops. Well, that's no good. We've been slow. Oh, we've been slowed down heavily by this back marker. Oh dear. This looks a bit tough. Should have bought some weapons, I think. Oh no! I don't want to get to this stage of the review and not qualify. Well, we're not starting again. That is for sure. Wish me luck. We just have to do something good. Or there's always the cheat. There's always cheating, isn't there? I haven't cheated so far. But I am not uh, above it. Oh no, this is terrible. It's a mobile roadblock. I think I'm in my rights to cheat if I don't get through. Oh look, this is a conspiracy. This is a bit like the Ferrari years in Formula One where Michael Schumacher would drive off, Rubens Barrichello would drive really slow on corners and Michael get a massive gap and win the race. I'm behind Ferraris. Get out the way. Right. I'm going to go through some oil here. That's just cost me so much time. We're on lap four or five. I'm not going to come in the top three for sure. This is a complete disaster. Team orders have done me. Where is third place? They're miles away. They're not even on the screen. We've got one lap to do something crazy. I can't even see third place. I'm more likely being caught up by these bat markers again. I think there needs to be a steward's inquiry. They need to be banned for free races. It's tough at the top. You won't place. Results follow suit. That's awful. Well, this review I had uh, intended to give you nine races. I'm a man of my word. Um, yes. I am a man of my word. What am I going to do? Brain's ticking over. Right, I pull off my car here. The crowd are depressed. I said, don't be depressed, crowd. We're going to think of something. And I'm back again. Um, yes, you can see I, I've got an, a different car. Um, I, I don't know if you've noticed. Uh, it's the same track again I just lost on, I think. I don't know if you've noticed, but the car seems to be going a little bit quicker. Um, I don't know why that should be. I, I, I did um, I did put a, I did clean the inside and outside, and I've been on a driving lesson. Oh, that was very accurate. I just missed the wall, and I was just getting cocky again. But uh, yes, I I have done a little bit of cheap work here. Right, we're in second place out of six this time, and this car's going super fast. I forgot what it's called. It was based on the Lamborghini Countach, I think, or Countach. Go, go, go. It's not very good at turning, though, but the front end speed is, is magnifico. Let's get you. Took out one car. We're in the lead. Don't know how. Don't think any length less of me, because this way you're at least going to see all the tracks. 
you won't see all difficulty levels of course because it's the same tracks again. Just maybe watch it in fast forward and that'll be the next level. But uh, very rarely we'll give you a view that lasts for hours. We just want to see what it's like don't we? We want to see what it plays like and then get on to the next one. It's all about nostalgia. Right, one lap to go. This don't seem to be taking this long this time in this car for some reason. But we're just flying along now like nobody's business. How did I get this car? Well, I um, tied up that glasses man at the showroom. It was um, a hostage situation. And I freed the Kentucky woman. No, I didn't. And I stole the car. And uh, that's what it's all about. Nick, what are you talking about? I don't know. Right, congratulations, track seven completed. I'm not sure if you remember that I failed that, but wipe that from your mind. We're back there. This woman's jumping up and down again like a, a mad woman from a Keep Fit video. Everyone's waving. We're happy and smiley again. Well done. Maximum speed 180 miles an hour. I think that's about 65 miles an hour quicker than last time. But that's the difference of a car, really. Got that lovely white one on the showroom forecourt. Let's go to the garage. I haven't released this woman, by the way. She's still stuck in there. Um, I've got a bit more money this time. Um, I can pretty much buy what I want. Car don't seem to be taking any damage. I wonder why. Out we go. Exit. Two tracks to go. Let's see what track eight looks like. As I said before, and as you probably noticed, getting gradually trickier each time. There shouldn't be a problem with this white car. I think I would have been dead 10 times over as I crash into walls at 180 miles an hour though. The lights are on. Green, go. Why do I always start at the back? That's not fair. I've got, obviously got the quickest car. Right, bash him out of the way. Control my spin for the oil. Straight into fourth place. Right, tight corner. Just concentrate, concentrate. I seem to have a bit more power bashing these bods out of the way. We do synchronised spinning. Oh, I fired a missile for no reason. That was a bit wasteful. I think it was maybe that opponent bashed me. There's a wrecked car. And we're, we're third. What we were doing better than this? Controlled spinning. Oh no, we got to win, haven't we? We're in the best car, for goodness sake. Goodness gracious. Should have been a bit better with my weaponry, really. Could have taken a lot of these boys out. This is the penultimate track. I'll give him a bit of a pace in, synchronise spinning again. I think if I keep bashing him, his car will be destroyed. Taking the inside line. Good. That's what it's all about. Driving around a bit like Pastor Maldonado. But it doesn't matter. I'm like Pastor Maldonado, I've got the fastest car. Can we win this? It's lap 5. Mm, I don't think I can, you know. Curses. No, I'm not going to win this one. That's a poor show. Second, but uh, at least we're through. Let's see if we can win the last, the last track. The last track's supposed to be the trickiest one. Good over-the-top racing from 1990. Good old Gremlin graphics. They certainly knew how to make a racing game, I'd say that for them. Not sure what this looks like on the Amstrad. I'm sure it looks very similar on the Atari. At some point in the future, I'll put it up on the Spectrum if I can locate it. I always wonder how the Spectrum uh, deals with these Amiga-type games. Sometimes they're a bit ambitious. Stunt car racing in particular. I should be reviewing that on the Spectrum uh, very shortly. See how it compares to um, the Amiga version. It's up against it, but see what it does. Yes, but a few racing games recently. Right, the last track. We're almost there, people. Stay with it. Thanks to any of my team. Swap the discs. The last track. Du -du -du unless it resets itself. Right, we're starting on a straight, so that's an advantage. Seven cars in it this time, they're up in the ante. As long as we don't get stuck behind back, back markers, we've got half a chance. But at least, whatever happens, you've seen all nine tracks. 
As you can see, they look pretty similar. Well, similar in environments. A lot more bends as you go up, a lot more tw twisty bends. Double bridge on this one. Yes. Can't get too much of a top speed, it's all about the handling. Yep, and the missiles work this time, that's taken one of them out. But maybe that was a waste, because um, that wasn't one of the top cars. Maybe we could have got him quite easily. But we're in position three of seven, as you can see. Would have loved a course uh, generator on this one. Would have really added a bit of longevity to it. But a good, uh, a good prequel to Supercars 2. Don't know if you ever played Supercars 2 or indeed this one. If you haven't, um, I'd uh, recommend it if you get a chance. Oh, that was a great bit of bend work. See, with this fastest car, if you do a few bends, get the line right, you can bring up some pretty good speeds. I'm making it seem like heavy where we're going, but um, I'm sure it's easier than what I'm making it look. Second place. To finish on a win would be nice. Be a nice way to end. Two laps to go. As long as I can... Oh, back, back missile there. Right, so it's just about between me and this fellow. So I knock him flying. He's defending well. Ooh, this is a bit like when uh, Ayrton Senna kept Mansell behind him in the Monaco Grand Prix. I've got a much quicker car, but he's keeping me behind him. Ooh, a bit of traffic jam going across the bridge. Surely I can beat him. Maybe this is going to end up like Mansell Senna at Monaco. I think it was 1992 that happened. Right, concentrate. There must be a route pass. Yep, I bashed him into... See, that's what Mansell didn't do. He didn't bash Ayrton Senna into the side of the wall. And obviously that's the strategy to win in the race. And goodbye. If I can... Ooh, there's some lap races in front of me. Is this going to prove significant? Yeah. Now now I've got them between me and the um, second place man. I think a win is assured. So, Fantastico. A bit of a mixed bag there with my gameplay. But um, I like the game. And I win. Uh, the password for stage two if you're interested is Oddy. Not sure that's anything to do with Bill Oddy from the goodies. Results will follow soon, but uh, yeah, if you've got this game want to leap into stage 2, type in Oddy as a password and it will take you there. Glad I could help, thank you very much. Send me the check in the post. The woman's game made. Well, you've seen all nine tracks. So, hope, hope you like that. If you did, please subscribe, it's always welcome. Good, good stuff. So that was Supercars on the Commodore Amiga. Until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.